the number. Cheryl. Yeah, so we're coming in a little bit higher on the initial claims number than expected, Maria. This is for the week ending September 5th. The estimate, 846,000 new initial claims. We came in at 884,000 new initial claims. Now, the continuing claims number, that actually ticked a little bit higher. 12.925 was the estimate. Continuing claims came in at 13.385. We're also looking for data on PPI right now, uh, and we're looking at August PPI consumption up 0.3 percent. That is a little bit better uh, than expected for consumption. If you take out, uh, if you look at core numbers, and this is all crossing right now, if you take out the core number, final demand at 3 percent, I already told you that, but for the core, excluding food and energy year over year, looks like it came in at, let me give you this number right here, 0.6 uh, percent, 0.6 percent. So we're getting all of this, these numbers crossing right now, but again, uh, looking at the um let me give you the rest of the PPI numbers really quick here, Maria. Month over month for August, gained a 0.3%. I gave you that year over year. We were looking for a decline of 0.3% on regular streamlined PPI. We came in at a loss of 0.2. And then the, the month over month for August, excluding food and energy, a gain of 0.4%. We were looking for 0.2. And then the core PPI year over year, looking for 0.3. And again, I already gave you that number, 0.6%. Now, real quick, as I send it back to you in the panel, the, we, were, we were at 59.29 million claims so far since the pandemic began. This now takes us over 60 million initial claims. This is in line, by the way, the initial claims number with the fact that we're seeing job postings down about 20 percent year over year uh, in the employment picture. And also these initial claims still include self-employed and gig workers. And that's something that the, the government had instituted when the pandemic began. Maria, back to you. All right. Thanks so much, Cheryl. We are watching a market that uh, has really not moved all that much on these numbers, although we are off of the lows. Dow Industrials down 92. NASDAQ is up.